Well, we have three more to go. And this one is our aqua collared male. This is Quintana Roo. We just call him Roo for short. He is probably second in command in the litter and he's the smallest. So <laughs> he's got little man syndrome. Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, leave it. Ah, leave it. Good boy. Good job. Good job. So we're working on leave it with him a little bit because he is very mouthy. Um, and he does respond, so he's learning very quickly that leave it means leave it. Good boy. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. <laughs> he is a black party. Um, he could end up being a blue party, but he's pretty dark. So I'm guessing he's black still. Let's go. Come on, buddy. He's pretty small. I think he was like... Um, Hmm. I'll have to look when we get back in what his weight was, but he's the smallest of them all. Like he could fly right now. He's small enough. Um, when I let him go at 10 weeks, I'm not sure they could fly and he could go home now. It's just that, um, he's peeing. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job, buddy. It's just that whenever you, um, leave him with me, until they're 10 weeks. I like to keep them that long because of this reason. So we're putting a lot of training into them at this time and they're a better dog for you. You have a better chance of getting along with them if they're minding well and loving them, you know, in through some of their difficult times, which is, you know, this time they will go through another um, fear stage um, at around 14 to 16 weeks, I think is what it is usually. It's different for every puppy, but they do go through a second fear stage. And if you just keep bringing them places, here, I'm gonna get bucking. Come on, let's go. Come on, good boy. He gave up pretty fast. He's like, well, okay, I don't like this game. Good job, buddy, good job. And I gotta stop talking and encourage. <laughs> but anyways, if you um, are, working with them at this age and you can reason with them when they go through the second fear stage and you can use some of your the words that they know some of the english that they know then they're less apt to stay in that fear stage and if you start you know taking them on um little outings excursions let's go let's go come on good boy good job yeah he gives up pretty easy some leader <laughs> yeah you're so cute He's not stopping at the puddle. Let's go. Something just flew right on my head. Okay. I'm not afraid of bugs. Okay, let's go. Come on. No, let's go. Keep going. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Yeah, he's going to be super easy to train. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. They all kind of have this desire to do what I ask them to do, which is really nice. Um, I would say of all of the ones that don't really seem to care that much about it, probably Tulum is the most that way, but he is very loving. Um, he just is not like a um, all out, I'm going all out kind of dog. <laughs> so, and you know, all of them just have their own personalities and it might just be maturity. Just because he's big doesn't mean that he's mature. So. Um, and just because they're little doesn't mean that they're not mature. So you just have to know by training which ones to expect what out of, you know, because you know, you know your own child. You know how that is, right? You know when they get something and when they don't. So you have to kind of use that judgment when you're training. You have to say, I know that one gets it and they're disobeying me. Or I know that one just hasn't had a light bulb come on yet. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just the way puppies are, huh? They're all so different. Yes, they are. That's what's so fun about them. I so enjoy this part of it. I wish that I just had a puppy all the time to train because I just love their innocence and their um, willingness. And the reason that they're not willing usually is because they didn't get any training when they were little. So just like kids you know, that need to be disciplined when they're little so that they can discipline themselves when they're older, just like that, um, you need to do that with puppies. Because if you discipline them when they're babies, then they already 
understand it when they get older and it's just a normal thing for them. So this is when they learn the most. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You're not gonna be sure. His head is so like small that he could probably pull out of this collar. Okay, let's go this way. We're going this way. Come on, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Good job. Way to stop. And we went all the way to the road this time. And so, let's go. Come on. So he's doing good. He's walking really fast for a little bitty. And I think he's going to be really easy to train, judging by his walk. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, good boy. Can you sit? Can you sit? Ah, ah. Nope. Okay, we're going to let him buck for a minute. Roo, Roo, can you sit? Hey, hey, pay attention. Nope. Okay. Come here. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Okay, we're going to hold him there for just a second. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good job. Okay, let's go. Come on. It's all tied up now. Here, let's get this untied. Okay, let's go. Come on. Good job, buddy. Good job, little Roo. Come on, kangaroo. <laughs> Could have named him Kanga. Come on. No, you're going this way. He's like, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Come on. He goes, I'm hot. I need to go in the shade. Come on. No. Come. Come. Good job. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. You got it. You got it. Yay. You made it in the shade. We'll stop for just a second, okay? It's not that hot out here, 75. If I can do it, he can do it. He's just... That's just a protection thing that they are. It's built into them. No, you're not going that way. Come here. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you got such a good personality. You go, oh, puddle. You got such a good personality. Yes, you do. You're such a good boy. You want to run? Let's go. Come on. Let's run. Good job. <laughs> yes, good boy. Good job. So um, when I get to be, you know, start going further, there's the fan, the horse fan. When I get further with them in, in their ongoing education, if I have them longer, um, then I start making them walk at my heel. Oh, you okay? And I also start making them jog at my heel. So we'll, we will walk, heeling, then we kind of trot a little bit, jog a little bit. I might run really fast and then I stop and say, wait and teach them what wait means. That it means we're gonna pause for just a second. Can you wait? Like this. Wait. Good, good boy. Uh, he's like, I'm not waiting. Can you sit? No, ha uh ha, -uh. no, no. Sit, sit. <laughs> we're gonna let him pull. Good boy, good job. That's a good sit. Good job, Rue. Okay, oops, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so none of this um, that I've experienced is um, out of the ordinary for puppies. All of it's normal. And it's there's nothing that is giving me any kind of um, red flags or anything like that as far as how they're reacting to things. Um, if they were, um, I would definitely say something about it. You know and say this is something that needs to be addressed so um but none of them so far have had any fear that's unusual like overriding fear or unusual habits that are weird um come on no we're going this way every single one of them does this as you can tell they all pull over towards the bushes pull over towards the rocks i better quiet down we're at the bees come on come on hurry, hurry. let's go we don't want you to get stung either. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Come on, this way. Pull. Come on. Let's go. I'm pulling. Nope. Oh, sorry. That was not nice. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that, buddy. Okay. Come on. He's like, you're making me skid. <laughs> good job. Good job. He's so good, Rue. Such a good boy. I always want to think of him as a girl because he's so petite. But, um, okay, we're running. <laughs> no pulling. Hey, no pulling. 
Oh, the shade. Are we stopping here for a minute? Okay, I'm gonna stop in the shade. What a smart boy. What a smart boy. Uh-uh, no pulling. Okay, we're just gonna stand here for a minute. As he pulls and pulls and pulls. <gasps> Good boy, there you go. Nope. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> He'll get tired in a minute. Good boy, there you go, that's better. Come on, let's go in. No, nope, we're gonna buck some more. Are you done? Okay, let's go. Come on. <laughs> yes, good boy. Good job, buddy. Okay, so he just learned something really important right there, is that when he comes to me, things get really cheerful and happy. Good boy, good job. And so those little teeny steps make for a very well-balanced puppy. There is our blue, our aqua blue collared boy, Rue.